Hey everyone, and welcome to FilterGrade. In this video, we're talking about cinematic titles in After Effects. This isn't going to be a tutorial on how to create them, because there are countless tutorials out there already that you can watch if you want to. We're going to be working off of a few cinematic title templates you can download from the FilterGrade store, and using them to illustrate what makes a good cinematic title worthy of bookending your films. So let's talk about a few key things that can turn a boring title into something cinematic and interesting. Font is important. Your font choices play a lot into the feel of your title. If you're going for a cinematic, dramatic, or epic look, you're most likely going to want to pick a sans serif font. These are fonts that are missing the feet on the ends of the letters. These tend to be strong, clean, and modern, which makes them perfect for dramas or action movies. For the same reasons, titles are often more powerful when they're written in all capital letters, although there are certainly reasons you may want to use lowercase letters sometimes. All of these rules have exceptions. Lastly, you can adjust the spacing of the letters. When talking about the horizontal spacing between letters, this is called kerning. Increasing the kerning can sometimes result in wider and more dramatic titles. It shows how important it is by being spread out and taking up more space while still being perfectly readable. Animation is also important. A static title can be powerful in its own way, but most cinematic titles have some sort of animation. Usually the main title will have a reveal, whether it's a simple fade or the title comes out from behind another object. Even some animation while the title is on screen can give a sense of progression and interest. Perhaps the title is slowly zooming and can smoothly transition into the next title's animation. Or maybe the background can have an animation, such as particle effects or footage from your show or movie. Now let's take a look at some of the templates you can get from the FilterGrade store, keeping in mind these elements we just mentioned. We'll also touch on a few things these templates do right and how you can adjust them for your needs. After this, you can download and use these templates yourself and modify them as you see fit, or you can go into After Effects and try creating your own. The first template we're looking at is Antique Titles by MD Lab Design. This template evokes feelings of luxury and history with its default background footage of golden statues. But also note the fonts used. It uses a light and a bold version of the Montserrat font, which is a strong and neutral sans serif font. The template contains 10 different titles. You can edit the text by opening the text folder in the project panel and clicking into a specific project. That's going to be a common theme on all of these templates. You can also go into each title project to change the footage. There are multiple layers here that work together to create something cinematic and dynamic. First of all, the text has a golden light that moves across it to draw the eye while the statues in the background animate slightly across the screen. Lastly, a subtle layer of smoke and some light sources create enough moving elements to keep the attention of any viewers while not distracting from the text. This title template does a great job of using cinematic elements without overdoing it. Next up is Cinematic Movie Titles by Enchanted Studios. The first thing to note about this title is that it uses serif fonts. We said earlier to generally avoid these types of fonts, but it's clear from this template that it's okay to break that rule sometimes when it calls for it. It suggests using a serif font, and since it has a ton of layers, it ends up looking metallic and three-dimensional. It's clearly in the style of something like Harry Potter, especially with the clouds in the background. The zooming animations and particle effects add quite a bit of excitement and magic to the template. It's also easy to edit. Just click into one of the scenes and adjust the text layers. All the effects will be applied automatically to your text. The effects have their own compositions and are made up entirely of After Effects components and no third-party footage at all, so you can drop in your own backgrounds or adjust the elements in After Effects if you feel comfortable. This template goes to show that using a sans serif font in something fantasy or medieval just wouldn't work, and sometimes using a serif font does the trick. Now let's look at Cinematic Opener by Neo Motion. This template keeps the sans serif font and adds some clean lines. Both elements are animated in 12 different customizable templates. All of them are fully editable and you can simply drop in whatever footage you like to create your cinematic intro. This template goes to show that sometimes simple is best. This will make a great movie intro and you may not even need a template like this. It's nice to be able to just buy it if necessary, but this is something you can create an approximation of yourself with just a little bit of time. Be inspired by this simplicity. We're going to underscore the previous point with this next template, Film Opener also by MD Lab Design. This also uses a clean font and simple additional elements. It has some particles and simple stock footage in the background to inspire intros and the font has a basic but evocative animation. This is perfect for something like a crime or a detective show. 
Think about how the font, the footage you use in the background, and even the animation style feed into the overall feel of your film. Lastly, let's look at Modern Cinematic Slideshow by Minna Picture. This one is supposed to be a slideshow, but works great as a cinematic title opener anyways. After all, many title sequences are just slideshows with videos. You can easily replace your media and change your text, then the clean slideshow transitions will do the rest. These templates encapsulate everything great about professional cinematic intros. Just keep in mind that most of the time you want to have sans serif fonts, clean transitions, and that less is often more. You spent a ton of time making your film, so you want an intro that does it justice. All of these templates are great starting points, but hopefully this video also gave you some fundamental knowledge about what makes an intro cinematic and what pitfalls to avoid when creating your own. If it did help, let us know by leaving a like and a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.